Hey guys, before we get into this video, I just want to say I sent a box of knives over to Mike Amler, like something like 12 knives, and he, he's uploading the unboxing video of it today. If you guys wouldn't mind going and subbing to his channel, watch the video, check it out. You guys should be subbed to his channel already. He's got awesome content. So I will link his channel down in the description at the top. So definitely go click that link, go over to his channel, sub um and check out the unboxing check his channel out drop him some likes drop him some comments it would be awesome of you guys thank you very much let's get to this video bang neves knives i'm jared my lovely wife kara is in the background somewhere and today do it again no. <laughs> and we got an unboxing so these are in for sharpening but one is in for review I've never tried one of these out, so, or checked one of these out. I'm pretty excited about it. And I'm unboxing with the, the new Kaiser Bag Letter 2 running on their new bearing, or new ceramic uh, bearings. Man, this thing is incredible. Watch out for the review on this. It also comes in a couple different colors of my Carta, but... Man, this thing is good. It's really, really good. They're only like 69 bucks, and um, as of right now, you can get a deal um, for two of them for 30% off. All right, I'll read the note right after. Let's get into this. Okay, so this, um, I have one of these, but we'll open it anyways. This is in for sharpening. Oh, wow. This one's got a little mocha tie. That's sweet. These things are so awesome, man. Oh, wow. Look at that backspacer. Let me grab mine really quick to show you guys the, the difference. So it shows like how much you can really customize these and make them your own. Like, this is so awesome. And this is one titanium ball clip that does work good. Um, I'm not a big fan of the titanium ball clips, but in this case, it's great. And you can see the pivots. Like, this is very awesome. But let's see how similar the action is. Very similar. The lock bar is what feels a little different, but it might be just the texturing, though. Yeah, maybe it's pretty similar, but it does feel a little different. Um, it's just the texture. This one's more smooth. Mine's a little more um, Sabenza feeling, meaning the 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 blasted finish. Very very cool though. Yeah, this one's a little sharp right there. Oh, that's what it is. Oh no, is it the same? Why does that feel so different right there? Okay, so with the blast finished, the edges are knocked down. On this one, they're sharp. Not that it's, like, bad or anything. I'm just saying, you know. Um, but everything else is very, very smooth. And I'm just showing this because I'm not going to do a review on it or anything. At least I don't think I'm going to. Because I already have a whippersnapper review. But it's definitely going to be sharpened. All right, this next one is... Oh, a Koenig Mini Goblin. I've always wanted to try one of these. This actually used to be one of my Grail knives. Then uh, I never got to ever check one out. So it just kind of, you know, a dream that just fell apart. And I, you know, tend to, I let it go. I let it go. But, oh, man, I did <laughs> that uh, you be quiet back there. Man. Yes. Okay, I'll show it to you when I'm done. Oh, man. That action is crazy. I really, the first time when I flipped it, I didn't mean to. Like, I kind of just went to put my finger there. And you, you can barely push this thing. Like, I'm trying to fail it right now. Okay, my finger stopped it. Otherwise, it would have went. See my finger stopping it because I'm trying to go so slow. When you're trying to go slow, see my finger stops it. But I can, just like any knife, I can fail it if I really, really want to. But man, you really got to try. That is sweet. 
Nice deep hollow ground blade. Nice thick blade stock. But then look at that geometry. You can see the taper right there. This worn cliff blade shape would be very good for utility cuts. It is a smaller knife, but it's not too small. I can get a full size grip. This uh, taper right here really helps with the pinky. Very comfortable, a lot more comfortable than you would think, but it's still, you know, it still is a smaller knife. So, um, yeah, it's not, it's not like a, f I mean, it is a full grip and not at the same time. It's just kind of different, but access to the lock bar is really good. Very easy. I, I'm not even, I don't, I don't feel like I'm even pushing it. Like it's so, it's so delicate. It's so crazy how delicate that is. And one thing I really like is that it's literally over the detent ball right away. Like, let's see where it's at. Right there. So since the detent ball is nice and early, like with some detent balls that are way over here and you got to move your finger, this is always out of the way. Very, very cool. I'm excited to review this. It looks like it's got a some type of uh, fixed angled system edge. It's definitely not a factory edge. It looks kind of like a work sharp edge. But I can tell it needs to be tuned up, which we'll do a full sharpening on it. But, you know, I, I can feel the little nicks in the edge. Nice, cool stone washing. So, yeah, there you guys go. Very, very cool. This thing is so awesome. Look at this backspacer, too. That's pretty cool. All right, guys. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.